Here is the latest on the group responsible for murdering the former UCF journalism student. 24 hours after ISIS released its gruesome video of a second American killed, the U.S. is waiting to see if our involvement expands beyond airstrikes. And late today, we heard from Sotloff's family. They call him an inspiration who wanted to give a voice to those who had none. A memorial in his honor just ended on the campus of UCF. News Channel 8's Candace McCowan is live in Orlando tonight with that heartfelt tribute. Candace? Good evening, Gail. There were hundreds of people packed in around this reflection pond here at UCF, many of them holding candles like this one. While it was 10 years ago that Sotloff walked this campus, his impact is still felt here. In this crowd of candles, each person is touched by Stephen Sotloff's death in a different way. It's just, it, it kind of rattles your world to think that something so barbaric and something so horrible might be something that's so close to home. And while many never knew the UCF alum personally. Our professor um, was relatively close with Stephen's family and she came into our class obviously very shaken up. Chris Nault did. He and Sutlaw played for UCF rugby 13 years ago. Passionate and chased a dream and kind of was, we nicknamed him his brain. When he heard that an international crisis involved his friend, Nault wanted to do something. And the first video was obviously like a pretty intense and the, the rugby community, the UCF rugby community, really kind of bonded together. Everyone here tells me they were touched by Sotloff's courage and strength, and it's those traits his family wants us to remember. A spokesperson commented for them for the first time Wednesday. Our village is strong. We will not allow our enemies to hold us hostage with the sole weapons they possess, fear. In death, those who knew the former knight hope Sotloff's legacy will burn on. He was just a really good guy, and I admire his passion for, and for doing what he believed in, and taking those risks. And hundreds of volunteers just walked around this pond here picking up those candles that were left behind. We understand that there is staff here on campus that was close with Sotloff and his family, and they are trying to grieve privately at this time. Gail? Well, you can certainly understand that. Now, Candace, any plans there for any kind of permanent memorial for Sotloff on the campus? Gail, I did ask university officials that today. They tell me that this is still very fresh, but those that were on the rugby team with Sotloff tell me that they are looking for a way to honor him beyond this evening. Gail. All right. Thank you, Candace McCown, live tonight in Orlando for us. And powerful words from Vice President Joe Biden. He is vowing the U.S. will take action against the terrorists responsible. We don't retreat. We don't forget. We take care of those who are grieving, and when that's finished, they should know we will follow them to the gates of hell until they are brought to justice. Because hell is where they will reside. Hell is where they will reside. Senate Democrats are pushing a vote to authorize U.S. airstrikes in Syria, where ISIS has its main bases. But President Obama and many lawmakers are said to be leery of taking that step.